What's up everyone, it's Bones here. In today's video, I'll be featuring the new anti-meta deck post ban list. That is not flu. But before I begin, if you happen to enjoy content like this, clicking on those thumbs up and subscribe buttons would be greatly appreciated as it goes a long way in supporting the channel and shows me that you like content like this. To begin, you'll see that we have two cards here, newly at three with metaverse and dimensional fissure. And both these cards on their own can devastate the Ishizu tier deck. Neither are terrible bad going second either. You also have the ability to play a floodgate like Rivalry of Warlords seeing as most of your monsters are psychic, but I'll get on to all of the stuff you can do as we progress through the video. So this will probably be like the quickest replay ever and it's just the nature of the deck really as we're going to special summon the unicorn the unicorn can net us a search of the birth here and you'll want to play the birth in order to make use of the banishing this deck can do via stuff like side beast which will We'll banish the Fenrir, and then we can go into the Shangri-La here, which will give us our first rank 7. We'll then go into the Birth. The Birth can special summon back out the Fenrir, and with the Fenrir we can now search a name here. I'm going to grab the Ogre, and then I'm going to activate the Fisher there, set the Metaverse, and set the Rivalry of Warlords to end our turn and pass it to our opponent as we're gonna just shotgun the Rivalry for the replay here, shotgun the Metaverse, which will get us into Necro Valley. So now you're even shutting down spells and traps that can be moved in the graveyard, like Dark World Accession that we'll be getting shortly. So just another hard counter to that deck, really. But another thing that you'll be able to do is on the standby phase, you'll be able to get the special summon off of Shangri-La for another copy of Unicorn, and that will basically be your end board. So I told you it was going to be a quick replay, and I didn't want to spend too much time covering the plays with this deck as it's all pretty self-explanatory. Fenrir can search out other cash tiras, Unicorn can search out Birth, as you saw, Psybeast can banish one of your level 7s in order to become a level 7 itself. This is a deck that can play Shifter and Imperm. The three macros will probably be moved to the side. Just for the video, I wanted to get in the three D Fishers with the three Cosmos and the three Shifters. To pair with the Necro Valleys, we also have the Secret Village of Spellcasters and the Summon Breaker, the Secret Village, you can actually sit under if you make Big Eye. As Big Eye is a spellcaster, you also do have Asa, and Prosperity can just dig into your floodgates, making this even more consistent. And the fact that you can even play multiples of extra deck cards that you can just freely banish off the pros is another thing that this deck has going for it. So onto the card by card here, we have the three Fenrir, the three Unicorn, the one Ogre, the three Shifter, the three Side Beast, the three Birth, the one Prepare, the three Fisher, the three Prosp, the two Necro Values, the one Secret Village, the one Summon Breaker, the three Metaverse, the three Imperms, the three Rivalries, the one Terraforming, and the three Macro, which could probably be something else if you want to move this into the side deck. But I do recommend keeping Fisher in the main deck as this will be strong going first and second. Another floodgate you can potentially play if you want to move the macrocosmos to the side is to do the summon limits here as it's one of the best ways to stop your opponents from playing period as long as they don't have an answer immediately. Then onto the extra deck we have the two Zeus, the two Shangri-La, the one Mind Hacker, the two Flare Metals, the one Draco Sack, the one Dark Arm Dragon, which can just be another form of removal, and Graveyard Disruption. We also have the Harmonizer, which is also Graveyard Disruption. The Gaia Charger for Piercing, which can also be used in time. This is something else that you can sort of use in time. There are better options that you have available to you, like Flare Metal and the Gaia Charger. But this does have a pop, and it gains attack. The Big Eye for the last rank 7, and then we have the Dagger for Hire, which is just an easy pop. You can just summon it with monsters of different types, and then pop itself and an opponent's card. And then finally, we have the Asa to round out the deck profile. But anyways, if you made it this far into the video, I thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them down below. It's Bones, signing out.